Right, morning you lot, or good afternoon, or evening, depending on where or when you're watching this video. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's Chelsea news video, which is an exciting one, there's loads of stuff to cover. The Catalan giants Barcelona want to buy Jeremy Boga, certainly are showing a great interest in the young Frenchman who's currently playing at Sassuolo. Boga has impressed of late and the 22-year-old Frenchman is in demand again. When Chelsea sold him, they put in a buyback clause and this buyback clause is as little as 3.5 million pounds. We're going to be getting into that and why a January purchase could make a lot of sense. We're also going to be talking about Brendan Rodgers' comments on Ben Chilwell and his potential exit after Ashley Cole's comments. Willian's comments on how he thinks he's staying at Chelsea. The likelihood of Pedro and Marcus Alonso's exits in January. Big Fick Tomori's new contract. And an interesting one I wanted to talk about. Marco Van Hinkel, the forgotten man, the potential number 10 that could really challenge Mason Mount. Loads of interesting stuff to cover today. Before we do get into the content, I want to urge you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Please do subscribe, click the bell notifications icon, like the video please. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, a quick reminder to you guys to go subscribe to my sister channel Yam Plays because it's loads of fun and I've uploaded a new video of me talking to you guys on the sofa. Something a little bit different. Right, let's start with Willian. Loads of speculation he'd be gone in the summer to either Juventus to team up with Sarri if he's still there or Barcelona who have caught him for a while but probably would still be happy to have him after all this time because he would be free and it would suit the player because he'd probably get a two or three year long contract in either of these respects respective clubs when Chelsea are reluctant to give any more than 12 months extensions to anyone over 30. Well the end contract talks have been going on for a while now at Chelsea and people are unsure whether he's gonna stay beyond a year at Chelsea but the player himself has come out and said news of his contract will be known soon. Willian also went on to comment saying he said many many times how he loves playing at Chelsea, he wants to stay at Chelsea, his family is settled in London, he loves living in London. He's basically reiterated the point that he loves being here and news of his contract extension will come out soon. So it looks like Willian is here to stay. That might divide opinion but he's been great for Frank Lampard even if he's not scoring and assisting. The players that are on their way out and certainly looking like a January exit would be both Pedro Rodriguez and Mark Alonso. Pedro recently commented of how he'd like to go back to Spain, how it looks like a difficult possibility, but he's been heavily linked with a move up to Birmingham this January to team up with ex-skipper John Terry and play for Aston Villa under Dean Smith. This looks like a good move, he'd probably start most games if not all games in Premier League football, he's still a good player Pedro and I imagine he'd score a few goals for Aston Villa. And John Terry would probably put in a good word for him with coach Dean Smith. Personally I can see this happening but like I said as usual watch this space I'll keep you guys updated on football therapy so make sure you check in daily. Another exit is Marcus Alonso to Atletico Madrid. He was heavily heavily linked to Inter Milan to team up with ex-Chelsea boss Antonio Conte which made loads of sense for me. He'd start as a left wing back or be rotated in left wing back and he knows exactly what Conte wants. Plus he could win a Scudetto there, maybe. But with Atletico, they're struggling. And the main reason they're struggling is because they've changed their philosophy, they've had a huge turnover of personnel and despite buying loads of attacking players these last few windows, they're struggling to score goals. I'm not sure signing Marcus Alonso as maybe a conventional left back will ever sort out any problems, but he does get the odd goal and he's a good dead ball specialist, so maybe they fancy a bit of that and maybe they fancy they can get a good deal from Chelsea as he's not playing. Either way, I think it could happen. I think the player probably wants that at this point and Frank Lampard doesn't really look interested in him anymore. He looks to play as Piliqueta or Emerson at left back and Alonso is third choice left back in a team with only really two left backs. So adios Marcus Alonso, like I said I'll keep you posted swing by football therapy but it does look like this could happen. Next up shout out to Fikayo Tomori who's just signed a five year contract extension at Chelsea Football Club. The latest in a long list of players to swear allegiance to Chelsea man Frank Lampard and basically get his head down into the new project. Great news really, it kind of maybe closes speculation about who's the next centre back to suffer when a new potential centre back comes in. Or indeed if one will come in at all with the return of big Tony Rudiger. Certainly as things stand it does look like Rudiger 
Tamori and Zuma are the top three and maybe Andreas Christensen will suffer if any centre-back does indeed leave. But Tamori's a great player, he's one of the kids that have been around Chelsea since he was very very small, he's a very good footballing centre-back. His recovery pace is unmatched in the Premier League. He can get back very, very quickly uh, when the ball's gone past him. And he's already worked under Frank Lampard for a while now, if you include last season. Chelsea Gaffer Lamps will be very, very happy with this contract extension, as will the player, as will his comrades around him. So generally, another good feel-good factor at Stamford Bridge. All right, before we talk about the potential return of Jeremy Boga, which is a huge story, and the forgotten man of Marco Van Hinkle, let's talk about Ben Chilwell. Chilwell has been heavily linked to Chelsea of late, and he would be an excellent signing for the Blues. Ashley Cole recently came out and said how he would love to bring Chilwell to Chelsea, how Chilwell would do really, really well at Chelsea. Plus, amid all the media speculation of the links between the player and the club, Brendan Rodgers has now commented on this. Rodgers came out and said, if you're doing well, there will always be speculation. The boys understand that, but there'll be no one leaving in January, categorically. I'm sure if we speak to the hierarchy, they will say the same message. I speak regularly with John, that's the director of football. It's very clear that we want to keep the squad together. We want to ensure they stay around beyond January. So, categorically, sounds pretty strong. It would probably take Ben Chilwell putting in a transfer request, digging his heels in, and Chelsea throwing incredible money at Leicester City for this to happen. This was always going to be one of the more unlikely transfers to happen in January, but Roger's comments kind of sort of puts the nail in the coffin. So it looks like he's staying at Leicester in January, and that probably does make sense for the player. Although Chelsea will absolutely reignite their interest in the summer and try and bolster that left back position but really they do need reinforcement. Next up Marco Van Hinkle. Chelsea's attacking midfielder who's long had problems with injury. Went out on loan in Holland and had an excellent time scoring a lot of goals and captaining his side to the Eredivisie title as a loanee. Superb. More of a senior figure now in his late 20s but a very very good player indeed and he's been back in training at Cobham for nearly a month now. I wanted to bring this up because Chelsea have been linked with the odd attacking midfielder midfielder number 10. At first I was like why are Chelsea being linked with midfielders when they have so many? But really this is for the number 10 role. Sure Mason Mount's made that his own and yes Christian Pulisic can play in the number 10 but it's better he's kept out wide where he does his best work. So really the only one putting pressure on Mason Mount for the number 10 spot is out of favour Ross Barkley, who I think eventually could be making his way out of the club as well. Yeah, 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 loads of people will be saying Ruben Loftus-Cheek, but the truth is that's not Ruben's best position. Ruben's best position on the pitch is left centre mid, or indeed a midfield two, driving from deep with the ball and floating out wide and carrying the ball. Loftus-Cheek playing in the hole in the number 10 role is wasted. So really, if you have another player that can be a dedicated number 10 like Marco Van Hinkle, he can really challenge Mason Mount, push his levels higher, and they can rotate when needed when the other player is fatigued. I just wanted to pose the question because he is around Cobham, he is Chelsea's player, he has proven to be very, very talented, and he's there, he's available. Think about it. Maybe Frank Lampard is keeping a key eye on him, and he thinks it's best that people just aren't talking about him at the moment. Who knows, watch this space, football therapy will keep you updated. Right, and finally, Jeremy Boga, a player that I've commented on before. Chelsea sold him to Sassuolo in Italy, and he's been playing very, very well, the young 22-year-old Frenchman. A couple of years ago at Chelsea, people were looking at him as, wow, this kid can really, you know, rise up and be a new star at Chelsea, a new flair, attacking forward, midfielder kind of player. It was maybe two or three years ago in a pre-season where both him and Belgian player Charlie Musonda, people were looking at these two players going, wow, these kids can be the one to take Chelsea forward. At the time, people were sort of looking at Musonda as the one a bit more developed, but Boga always looked very, very good, but he was never really given a chance and he was put away alone and then eventually sold. Chelsea have a buyback clause of only 3.5 million pounds and Barcelona have come around sniffing him at the moment and are looking very interested. This could be another Nathan Ake situation with City coming around sniffing him and Chelsea getting a bit more nervous and potentially thinking god we've got to trigger the buyback clause so they City don't get him. Maybe they feel a little bit like that with Jeremy Boga and Barcelona. But the truth is if Boga is happy to be a rotational player he would be the perfect replacement for outgoing Pedro Rodriguez. And also, if he does really well in the Chelsea team when given the chance, say in the FA Cup when that comes back round, or some home teams against some lower league 
Premier League opposition. If he does well, who knows, he might play himself into the team a bit more and his sale to Sassuolo and buyback was a successful endeavour. Anyway, who knows, it's a really interesting one. I think Chelsea should consider it because obviously in terms of realistic January acquisitions, that's got to be top of the list, surely. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on Chelsea centre-backs. Marco Van Hinkle challenging Mason Mount as a number 10 in the squad. Jeremy Boga coming back. All the other transfer stuff I've talked about. Get down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Remember to like the video if you've liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Go check out Yan Plays. Link in the top of the description. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.